Aiden, fun loving fella, loved the football, loved the banter, but just was a lovely family man. The day Aiden was shot, hey, just give me a second. Like the rest of us, he was, suffered a lot of harassment from the, the British Army. He started a job in Monaghan. They had to go up through the border twice a day. He'd be going through about 7 o'clock or that in the morning, and they'd hold him there till 11, half 11 in the day, hoping that he'd get set. If your brother was shot and killed on his way from a football match, you would want justice. How long would you? wait for justice. Five years, 15 years, 20 years, you'd never stop fighting. Aidan McInnesby was my brother. 34 years later, today, the trial into his killing begins. After he was shot, uh, my father and mother would get phone calls in the middle of the night, and Dad would get up and answer the phone. He would put us on to Aidan. Will you put us on to Aidan? and you could hear other people laughing in the background. Every family is entitled to justice. As I say again, no one's above the law. No one's above the law. The trial today represents the due process that the UK government is trying to shut down for victims. They say it's time to draw a line in the sand, but there is no drawing the line in the sand for victims and their families, many of whom have been fighting for decades for the truth, justice and accountability to which they are entitled. It has taken 34 years for the McInnesby family to get to this point. We stand today in solidarity with them and all victims fighting for truth, justice and accountability. <laughs>